In this video we're going to take a look at the completed silver soldering and fix any problems. That's all the silver soldering done in the boiler. Most of it looks okay. So the dome I'm quite happy with. It seems to have a good joint all the way around. Back plate all looks pretty good. Just a, a little bit messy. It's uh, quite discoloured at the moment because it's not been in the acid bath since its last heat. The tube plate looks fine. The stairs on this side look fine. We've got these studs There's three on the bottom look okay and six at the top look okay but two have ended up a little bit shorter, but that's not a problem. A lot of the bushes I think are okay. Some of them had a good fillet on the outside which has kind of disappeared so so the lesson that I've learned there is don't solder your bushes in before you do anything else just do it all together as much as you can The silver soldering of the foundation ring looks okay. The rivets on the outside of the base, which are just decoration, just to make it look like it's a riveted boiler. Some haven't worked very well. You can see that one there sticking out. So the mistake I made was that I drilled blind holes and put the rivets in with some flux. And then when the flux is melted, it's kind of pushed the rivets out. So that's not the way to do it. But anyway, I've already removed a couple of bad ones. Just drilled them out. So there's a few, you know, three or four, maybe five, to, to drill out. So we'll need to do that. But I'm not going to put new rivets in until I've done the hydraulic test. And if the hydraulic test is okay, I think I'll just lock tight some rivets in or silver so uh, uh, soft solder some rivets in rather than heat the whole thing up again. The firebox looks okay. Again, it's discoloured because it hasn't been in the acid bath since its last uh, heat. So on this side of the boiler, we've got some problems. Again, we've got some rivets along the bottom that need fixing, but that's okay. We can do with that, no problem. Steers look good, but this nozzle here looks a real mess. I mean, it's just awful. 
So I'm tempted to drill it out and uh, just redo the whole thing. But I think we'll do the hydraulic test first and just see what happens. Cosmetically it won't matter because it'll be covered up, but it just looks a mess. And then the other problem is these studs here. Of course I should be three and I was three, but they all they were all loose in the holes. I did attempt to silver solder them back in, but maybe you can see on this stud how the silver solder has climbed up the, the length of the stud. So what happened was that uh, the silver solder flows towards the heat. And of course I didn't have the copper bears hot enough when I applied the silver solder. But the uh, little stud protruding was, you know, glue and red. So as soon as I applied the silver solder, the silver solder just ran up the stud and didn't solder it into the base. So really this is not the way to do it. Um, I wouldn't do it like this again if I was doing another job like this. Um, if you need to have a threaded connection in the boiler, I think the best thing to do is to put a female insert in. So um, what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to uh, drill these out and put some uh, female inserts in and silver solar those in. So the strange thing is when I fill this with water above the level of these studs, water doesn't leak out. So there's obviously silver solar behind these studs. Yet you can probably see with this one, it's actually slack, as is this one. I lost this one. I was giving it a wire brush to clean up some of the oxidation and it just snapped off. So it probably wasn't good anyway. So I think the first job is to fix these. So I've made some inserts. So these are 7BA on the internal thread and 4mm on the external. So let's get on with that. So I'm just going to snip them off if I can. And give them a file down. Maybe a bit of file than that. Turn it round. By the way, should you be interested, you can buy merchandise to support this channel. Link in the description below. Thanks. That's miles away. a little bit right. Okay. So I'm starting with a second tap here. I'm not going to use any lubricant because I don't want to contaminate the thread with any oil or anything if I can help it. Seems with be silver soldering. Looks pretty square. So 
So I just want to plug top down just to make sure we're okay and we're clear. Should be okay. That's good. Give it a dress up. And a bit of flux in the holes there. Okay, I'm going to give some uh, solar paste a try. So we'll take it around the back and uh, put some heat on. This particular rivet is in pretty bad shape. Um, I tried to top this back in when it, while it was still under red heat and it just bent so I'm going to remove that so I'm just going to abuse this wood chisel and knock that off. And I took my original uh, drilling jig and I just opened up the hole on one side so I can place that over there and clamp it in place So we'll just try the rivet in there. Looks like that'll be okay. So I'll wait till after the hydrostatic test to make sure there's no leaks. And then I'll probably just lock tight that in. Or perhaps silver solder it. So there's a few more to do. I'll just continue with that. There's about five or six to do. And then that'll be done. Thanks for watching.